Hey, I'm a fish! Well, at least you know your translator works. Jump in, rabbit. Orange muffins are cool. <laughs> it works sometimes. Oh, how do I make it stop? Oh! 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 Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. How are you? Hey, Leo. I've done it. I invented an animal translator. That's amazing. What are you going to do with it? Well, I've always wanted to crack the code of the Humpback Whale song. I'll finally know what they're singing about. Humpback Whales? Cool. Would you guys like to join me? You'd be the first to watch my translator in action. Of course. That'd be awesome. Cool beans. I'll share my location with you. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Humpback Whale. Here it is. It seems that humpback whales are huge. An adult humpback whale is 12 to 16 meters long. That's roughly the length of an average school bus. And it weighs about 40,000 kilograms. That's almost the weight of six African elephants. While both the male and female humpback whales produce sounds, the males are known to sing loud, long, and complex melodies. And thanks to Kai's animal translator, we are going to find out exactly what they're singing about. Thanks for coming, guys. So how does your animal translator work, Kai? It's really simple. I'll show you. You're going to be so impressed. Hero, speak. <laughs> and that automatically translates into... I love you, Katie. Aww. Aww. I love you too, Leo. You guys are my best friends. Aww. Aww. We love you too, Hero. What about me, Hero? Do you love me too? Potatoes. Huh? Uh, I'm sure it's just a little bug. <laughs> I'll have it fixed in no time. Do you guys hear that? I can't believe he just jumped out of the water like that. That's called breaching. It's when a whale jumps out of the water and crashes back down. Humpback whales tend to jump higher and more often than other whales. These whales are way cooler than I imagined. I can't believe I'm really here. Now I'll finally get to know what the whales are singing about. Don't forget to bring the onions. Onions? I don't think that's what the whale is actually saying, Kai. No, it can't be. My animal translator is supposed to be perfect. Hang on, guys. I can totally fix this. Hey, did you see the signs of that fish I caught? Oh, boy, here we go again. Parrot ketchup on your stick. Huh? Oh, no, I can't make it stop. It's translating everything. Hi, I'm a fish. Well, at least you know your translator works. Jump in, rabbit. Orange muffins are cool. <laughs> it works sometimes. Oh, how do I make it stop? Oh! Oh! Is everybody all right? I'm fine. Oh, okay, here. Wait, where's Hero? Hero! 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 Hero, where are you? I'm inside a whale. A, a whale? whale? Let me confirm this. I just have to connect to his camera and done. Wow. That's the inside of a whale? It's the inside of a whale's mouth, to be precise. Ranger, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Rocky! Do not worry, Junior Rangers. Hero will be just fine. Humpback whales don't have teeth. They can only swallow things whole. They may have big mouths, but their throats are pretty small, around the size of a grapefruit. That's why humpback whales can only eat food that's small, like krill and anchovies. That's a relief to hear. 
But we can't leave him in there forever. We've got to find a way to get him out. Excuse me, humpback whales. We've lost our dog and we hope you can help us. They don't understand what we're saying. Not to worry, Junior Rangers. I'll get the whales to sing. Ooh. How did you do that, Ranger Rocky? I speak whale. That's so cool. Ooh. Hero is in its mouth. Now, all we have to do is get the whale to open its mouth. Hero, you're all right. Thank goodness you're okay. Thank you for saving me, guys. I love you. I wonder what they're singing about this time. The songs of the humpback whales sure are beautiful, but I think I like them better when I don't know what they're singing about. Me too. What am I? Easy, a chicken. Next. A tiger. Arf, arf, arf. Uh, um, uh, a mouse? Huh? A hero? Time's up! It's a dog! A dog! Oh, how could I have missed that? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. I'm compiling a list for my Junior Ranger Handbook, and I need your help. Sure thing, Farah. What's the list about? Have you heard of the Mimic Octopus? A Mimic Octopus? Here's a photo of it. It looks like an ordinary octopus. But it can disguise itself to look like another animal. It's really tricky to spot, and I need your help to find it. You can count on us. We'll be right over. Excellent. See you guys soon. Ranger out. The Mimic Octopus. The Mimic Octopus can be found in shallow, murky waters of the Indo-Pacific region. In its original form, it is light brown in color. But the Mimic Octopus is a master of disguise. It can change its appearance and behavior to look like other animals. Wow, I hope we get to see its transformations. Only if we find the octopus first. Bara to Leo, over. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Awesome. Once you find the Mimic Octopus, tell me everything it mimics. I'll write it down in my handbook. You got it, Farah. Now remember, the Mimic Octopus can be anything, so keep your eyes wide open. Don't worry, I won't be fooled. Aha! I bet this is a Mimic Octopus disguised as a... Uh... An anemone? <gasps> that was fast! Anemone. Anemones are marine creatures that look like flowers and are related to corals. That's not a mimic octopus, Leo. It's a real anemone. Oops, <laughs> you're right, Katie. Sorry, Farah. False alarm. That was not a mimic octopus disguised as an anemone. It's not? Okay, no anemone then. Let's look somewhere else. The mimic octopus could be anything. Hmm, I wonder. What are you doing, Katie? Done. I just installed a scanner from my computer. We can identify animals and plants now. Huh? It says here that the coral is human. Is there something wrong with the program? Hello, Junior Ranger. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? <laughs> what are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I was practicing my mimicry by pretending to be a coral. What are you rangers doing here? We're trying to find out what creatures the Mimic Octopus mimics. Ah, the master of disguise. While the Mimic Octopus is not venomous, it is able to mimic other creatures that are venomous. 
By doing that, the octopus tricks others into thinking it's venomous and protects itself from danger. So, we should look out for venomous creatures. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Where did he go? His mimicry worked. But now we have a mimic octopus to find. <laughs> What's that, Hero? <laughs> it's on the move again. Now it's mimicking a jellyfish. Jelly. Now it's a, oh, a banded soul. A banded soul? It's a stingray. Banded soul. Stingray. Soul. Band ray. Jellyfish. Sting jelly. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Arr. What is it? Turkey. A turkey. What? I think it's a turkey. Turkeys don't live in the ocean, Leo. A special underwater turkey? Huh? Now it's walking. <laughs> what about a duck? Ducks don't live in the ocean either. I agree. That's obviously not a duck. Farah, you're here. I had to see this for myself. Besides, my handbook was getting very messy. Oops, sorry. I still think it's a turkey. Nah, it looks like an underwater mushroom to me. Oh, oh, fried chicken. How about some algae? An underwater furball? It's obviously a... Wait, where did the octopus go? It's disguised itself again. Could it be that rock? I'll use my scanner. That's a rock. That's a rock, too. Still rock. Or that seaweed? The ocean floor? It could be anything. Here's my painting of Hero. Whoa, that's nice. How did yours turn out, Leo? Um... <laughs> it's a little abstract. Ranger Leo speaking. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. How's the zebra migration going? Have they found fresh grass? Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. The zebras are still on the move, but a mother zebra has lost its baby in the herd. <gasps> oh, no! Locally, I have a photo of it. Can you come over to help me find the baby? Of course, Jane. The photo will come in handy. Hang tight. We'll be right over. Cool. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Now let's go. Ugh. Let's find out more about zebras. And get away from this pesky fly. Here it is. The plains zebra. Plains zebras are the most common species of zebras. Zebras are part of the horse family, and they are known for their black and white stripes. Every year, thousands of zebras migrate, traveling over great distances to look for food, like fresh grasses and water. Oh boy, that's a lot of them, and they all look the same. Actually, each zebra has a different stripe pattern. No two zebras have the same stripes. Like human fingerprints, its pattern is unique. So we just have to match the stripes. And since we have a picture of the baby zebra, it'll be a snap. Hmm, stripes and patterns? I think I'll bring our paint along, just in case. Good idea, Katie. Look at all those zebras. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Don't worry, Mama Zebra. We'll find your baby. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stripes. Whoa, too many. Huh? Leo, are you okay? Oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> the stripes are a little confusing. Hmm. Let's see what else we can find. Ouch! Not again! And I thought the fly in our backyard was bad. This fly is worse. It bites. I got it. It says here that scientists scan zebra stripes like barcodes to tell them apart. Uh-huh. So, we can do the same thing. I'll make a zebra stripe scanner. Got 
it. Now I just have to... Done! There is our scanner. Cool. You just have to aim it at a zebra. And it's a success if the stripes match. Aim at a zebra. Oh, these pesky flies are getting in the way. Why aren't the flies bugging the zebras? Maybe it's because they've got stripes and you don't. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? Not only do zebra stripes look cool, we're starting to find out that it could be pretty useful, too. Scientists think that one of its functions is to confuse insects like flies, making it harder for them to land on zebras. And if they can't land, they can't bite. Nifty, don't you think? I'll be buzzing off now. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky! How are we going to get stripes, Katie? Oh, you'll see. This is so cool. It's a good thing you brought the paint over. Hopefully this will get those flies to buzz off. Now, let's get back to looking for the baby zebra. We'll have to scan every one of them. Katie, Hero, and I will use our jetpacks to get a better view. Jane, you brought your own ride? The baby's mother insisted. <laughs> let's go, Rangers. Jetpack jet activate. activate. What if we scanned all the zebras at once? I'll have to use your camera, Hero. It's scanning. Let's see if we can find a match this time. Oh, what's this? It's a match. We found the baby. Yes! <gasps> Rio, no! Oops! <laughs> Huh? Oh no! Jane, we've got trouble! I know! Can you get to the baby? I'm sending you its coordinates. We'll take care of the herd. Got it! Stop it! Calm down! There's nothing to be afraid of! Hang in there, little one. We can't keep this up much longer. We need something to stop these zebras. Something to stop them? Way to go, Zumi. We did it. See, told you guys it'd be a snap. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon.